a tide of discontented white Americans swept Donald Trump into the White House. It appears they wanted to send a message to the political establishment. They are fed up. Uh, white voters who are struggling middle class, lower middle class, uh, uh, have felt like that uh, they're not only losing influence, but in doing so, they're fearful. They're fearful. And they, they are quick to anger, uh, quick to, uh, to suspicion. They are mad as hell, and they felt overlooked, overlooked for years. Uh, they've been overlooked, ignored by both major political parties. The numbers are startling. Nearly 60% of all whites voted for the president-elect, including a majority of white women. It wasn't just older voters. 5% more whites under the age of 29 voted for Trump over Hillary Clinton. He even garnered the support of white college graduates. More than half of men and nearly half of women graduates voted for him. They were all willing to overlook Trump's comments about Mexicans and Muslims, his boasts of sexual assaults on women, his mocking of disabled people, and so on. In this country, we have a good deal of racism and uh, homophobia and sexism uh, and uh, uh, anti-Semitic views as well as anti-Muslim views. And I have a fear that with the uh, election of Donald Trump, I, I have this fear that uh, we're going to see in the next uh, uh, four years an increased number of hate crimes. I hope I'm wrong. Some anti-Trump protests have broken out, and Clinton supporters like Democratic Senator-elect Kamala Harris of California wonder about the national character. I believe this is that moment in time that many of us in our personal lives have faced when we had to look in a mirror because of circumstances in a situation. We had to look in a mirror, and with furrowed brow, we asked a question, who are we? I believe this is that moment in time for our country. But Tuesday's election results made clear that Americans are not only divided along political lines, but that they inhabit two separate moral universes with regard to the behavior they consider acceptable in the man who will now lead them. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Salt Lake City.